Let us continue with our project over here and today we'll be learning about the Kotlin nested class. So let's get started and let us jump into our NS Studio over here. And if you have been following along, you have you should have a television class already. And if you don't have this class, just go and create or just go and watch my previous lecture and come back and watch this video. So I'll be using this class over here for this lecture. And I have a television class. And when we talk about the nested class in Kotlin, it simply means that a class inside a class. So when we create a class inside a class, uh, by, by default, we can call it as a nested class. So how do we create? It's uh, really simple. So let's go and create a class inside a class. We call it class and give a class name and we have a nested class. Element. So that's simple. So we just create another class inside a class and that's a nested class already. So if you notice, we have a curly brace opening here and closing, and this is a parent class, or oh, sorry, it's a, we can call it as an outer class. So we have outer class as a television and a inner class, which is of a television USB port. So this is how we can create a really simple and really fast a Kotlin nested class. And by now you should be uh, familiar with the class already. And inside this class, we can have a properties and a behavior of a class. So let's create some of the properties and I can say as a bar and USB one is equal to have some string over here. And also a bar, let's say a USB of two is equals to, let's give an empty string. So we have two property over here and a function of a USB and uh, let's try to have a function over here and let's try to create a log and just copy this one and just paste it over here so we have not this is not a remote I think let's let let's give another tag of uh, let's give a tag of uh, nested class and uh, I can just say that I'm a USB I'm my USB and EST nested class so we have a simple function as well as a property for this uh, nested class over here and this is a simple way that we can create it and how do we utilize it and if you go back to our activity over here now we can create a val and we can create an object of TV is equals to the e -L -E -B -I television and television dot. Now we can access the inner, not the inner class, it's a nested class. So the nested class over here is a television USB port. And now we have an object created from our nested class. And now we should have access to TV dot. We have access to this method USB. And if you want to have access to TV dot USB one, is equals to let's say USB one. And similarly, just copy this one and just paste it below. And this it should be two. Yeah, this should be two, and this should be alpha two. US sorry us usb2 and if you run this class let's go and run this class and let's go over here and filter it out by a nested class just go to logcat and just paste it over here and you can see that i am a usb nested class which is coming from our nested class over here class television so that's a simple way that how we can create a nested class in Kotlin. And there is a one another problem over here. Whenever we create a nested class over here in Kotlin, by default, it's like a static nested class, a static class, static nested class. And when we talk about the static, which means that if you try to access this variable, which is of tag over here, you will not be able to get access to that one. So if you try to remove this one, and let's see if I want to create a tag, 
and I cannot access the tag properties or a tag variable from our television class. So television is an outer class and we have an inner class of television USB port which we are calling as a nested class as of now and if you want to access this property but we are not able to do so. And on the next lecture, let's go and see about the inner class, how we can create the inner class in Kotlin, and how we can access this variable that we have created. So let's meet up in the next lecture. Till then, have a great day.